Hey baby bees, um, I just wanted to make a little short video. Let's see if I can get that lighting good. There we go. Um, a short little video just kind of explaining um, a little bit about um, the breed of witch that I am, I guess. Um, I've mentioned on Instagram that I, um, I identify as a pantheist and I identify as a chaos witch and a cosmopolitan and I promised you guys that I would explain what that means to me. So this is like a little bit of that, I guess. Um, as far as being a chaos witch, that truly just has to do with the fact that I practice chaos magic theory as my kind of main, um, it's the main school of thought that I uh, adhere to. And some of the basic tenets of it are that, um, number one, I, I accept no dogma. Um, anything that I do or practice or um, participate in is is not a final um, it's not nothing's ever finished you know like my my viewpoint and my worldview is is ready and willing to adjust and update and evolve at any time so that's the biggest principle to me that's that's the hugest part of why I'm a chaos which is that you know um, no dogma is very important to me um, second of all, uh, try, try a bunch of things. Like that's another, uh, tenet of chaos magic is that you try different practices until you figure out what works for you. Um, another huge principle in chaos magic is that we use belief as a tool. Um, belief is not ever belief for the sake of it. And that's where like it's attached to the kind of like no dogma idea, but, um, yeah, like trying different paths, trying, you know, trying to work with a certain deity for a time and surrendering any disbelief in favor of full belief is like, actually, that's, that's part of being, uh, participating in chaos magic is, you know, you, you give yourself time periods, you do experiments, you, you go down a path full heartedly to explore it and to see what it's all about and whatever parts of that practice work for you you keep them and you evolve your practice and then maybe you try something different if it wasn't you know a totally fulfilling way of you know doing your magic shit um next uh chaos magicians keep keep a, a magical record. That's a huge part of chaos magic. And it's one that I definitely um, could stand to get better at. Currently, I have a couple of methods for that. I have notepads in my phone all the time, you know, like shadow work for tarot spreads, for magical ritual diary, for, um, for like uh, abundance meditations, for, um, just any any magical practice that I do that I experiment with, I record that and I write a date usually, and I try very hard to like um, to keep going back to that and to connect in my life. You know what has what's improved? Did that work? Did it not? Um, how did I feel about it? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, I definitely want to find a better method like to keep everything in one place and I'm definitely looking into a little bit more like organized paper planning in order to do that because I definitely connect um, with the uh, the physical act of writing and I feel that's a super magical process in and of itself so I'm I'm really huge into like jotting down everything that I can right now unfortunately it's just everything's all over the place so I'm not quite the meticulous record keeper that a lot of uh, K Oats would um, describe themselves as and, and say is a very essential part of it. I'm not meticulous yet, but I am all, I'm constantly working towards keeping a stronger and fuller magical record. Um, then there's principles about like the, uh, basically just achieving gnosis, which are, which is a different state of consciousness. And there's, um, several variants of that. Um, but I won't get into that because I just kind of want it to be a little short video just explaining some, some basic basics of chaos. Um, and I'm thinking there's another principle, but it's just kind of escaping my mind right now. But these are really, everything that I've explained so far is, is just in full support of, you know, the theories um, that most resonate with me. 
Oh, yeah, and also um, deconditioning is a huge part of chaos magic. So um, it's about deintegrating the programs that don't belong to you. And what I mean by that is um, ideas, thought patterns, behavior, systems, etc., that have been programmed since you were born. They're not authentic to who you are. They're not a reflection of your true self. They are simply the, the you know, the trappings of whatever society you are raised in, um, the environment, um, your family, their issues, et cetera, et cetera. So chaos is, is very much concerned with throwing off all that old shit. And in my opinion, the true goal of spirituality is to find the authentic self and to live that fully. Um, I could definitely see a lot of people looking at me and being like, oh yeah, Jen, natural magic, she's in the new age community. And to an extent that's true, but I, the one big thing that I really separate myself um, from a lot of new agers is, and, and not, in a de, not in a divisive way, but it's just, it's a difference in, in ideology is that um, I personally don't think that throwing off the ego um, as a permanent state is what we're, is really the big picture. I mean, it could be the end, 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 end goal. Like, after all the cycles of time are done, yes, we're all, I kind of think, going to reunite into oneness. And in that sense, that's total ego, dis ego disillusionment. However, I do think that since we are manifesting as individuals, since we're having an individual experience, then it would, it's just, it is clear in my mind at this time that our goal is to discover who, who we truly are as individuals. Um, again, without the conditioning of our peers and parents and society and to live that ego out completely out loud truly authentic i feel like that is that's my main mission that's the main mission of my spirituality and um i definitely want to encourage people to to figure out you know this same thing so um, so yeah, that's, that's what being a chaos witch means to me. I mean, these are, you know, definite tenets of chaos that I've gone over, but, um, yeah, that's, that's it for now.